of you already know that I have been on a spark aligner journey for the past year and some change. I had some ups and downs. So in this video, I wanted to break down some of the pros and the cons and things to look out for if you are thinking about getting the spark aligners or any aligners in general. So first I want to give you guys a quick little background. I have a few videos on my spark aligner and I basically told you guys I was going to wait until I finished the complete set. So just to do a recap on those videos, I went through four different sets as of this last one. Typically you would go through your first set and then get refinements if needed. In my case there was a huge setback where my second set of aligners the retainers that were included in that box had an OC on it and that OC stand for overcorrecting. So what it did was it took my front two teeth and it started to shift them back. Now for a person who never had aligners before, it seemed normal to me because I'm thinking my teeth are just shifting, but not realizing that these are retainers and they should not be shifting my teeth at all. When I first saw the OC on the package, I did reach out to the orthodontist and ask them what should I do. They said wear them as normal. So that is the first thing. <laughs> if you are in the middle of your aligners and you pull out your set of retainers and you see an OC on it, please call your orthodontist, especially if you are at a place where you like the way your teeth are or it may need to be slightly adjusted again. So, let me repeat that again. If you're on your refinement set, because typically they don't put that in the first set. If you're on your refinement set and your retainers in that stack has an OC, make sure you are asking your orthodontist what you should do. If you feel like your teeth are at a really good place, then I would recommend keeping on that last aligner if your retainers have an OC on it. If it does not have an OC for overcorrecting, likely they are just gonna keep your teeth in place from that last aligner set. All right, so let's get into the pros and let's get into the cons. So I'm gonna get into the cons first. And then I'll get into the pros and then I'll get into things that you should be looking for. Get a pen because I'm going to be really, really detailed. I'm trying to make this video not too long, but I do want it to be informative for those of you guys who are looking into getting any aligners at all. So before I get into the pros and the cons, I'm going to tell you what I noticed going to this particular orthodontist this time around. Initially, I thought there were only two doctors at this location. I didn't even, I knew that they had a second location, but I didn't think anything of it. So the first doctor, I'm gonna, I don't wanna say his race, but it was a white, a white guy, a white doctor, a white woman, and then a black doctor. I've never met the black doctor until more recent. So that's because he's at the other location. So basically the white doctor, the white male doctor, he gave me my first set everything was cool. <laughs> the second set also came from him, I want to say, um, but that's when I had the OC on it and it overcorrected. Now when I went back, I met the lady. She is the one who gave me the third set. The third set, guys, is what threw everything off. I don't know what they were thinking at the aligner place I don't know what she sent over to them because it's her that sends the stuff over. I was just totally not happy. When I came back after that set, I saw the white doctor, the white male doctor again, and he was like, oh, so are you happy? And I was just like, uh, everything had changed. The bottom jaw area was facing downwards. Like I can't even explain it. Like my teeth were going down in the back and up in the front. And it was just like this weird thing. Mind you, I stopped wearing them midway through because something was telling me that my jaw was shifting. So I stopped wearing them and then I went and I took them completely off because I was just over it. I was only supposed to do it for six months and it went further in so I didn't really have any trust in them anymore at this point so I said take them off. Which leads me to <laughs> the fourth set right maybe like a month or two after I completed that set the third set I had I was just really frustrated with my teeth I didn't like how they were looking because they changed everything like this is what I'm saying like pay attention to your teeth we don't really know what to look for because they're aligners and you would think that they know what they're doing but 
my everything like everything changed so i ended up going back this is a story time guys just so you guys can understand why i'm doing what i'm doing so i ended up going back to get a another set i didn't care if i had to pay for them but she said i didn't have to pay because they wanted me to be happy so that's one thing i would say about these this place they want me to be happy so I went back to go get checked for the next set and that's when I met the black male doctor. I was explaining to him what was the issue, so he gave me another set. Now here's the issue with set four. It was cool at first. He was closing up everything that was looking like, it was just spacious on the side. Like my teeth were going down at the bottom. So I'm explaining to each one of them that something happened to my, my jaw. Whatever they did, they moved it downwards. It needs to go back up which is giving me an overbite like a major overbite i've never had an overbite so it caused me to get an overbite that is a con right there because it changed my bite don't know what they were thinking that's what i wanted them to fix my bite and my jaw piece okay so now this guy he does a set whatever everything is closing everything looks good the issue with set four was that the bottom and i'm gonna show pop you popping how the aligners look so one thing you can do, I didn't even get into the cons yet. One thing you can do is make sure you're looking at all of your aligners. So let's get into the per let's get into the cons. So the first con is they can cause overcorrections if your batch of aligners have an overcorrecting on the aligners. I'm gonna say, but definitely on those retainers. If your retainers have an OC and your teeth feel fine, you might want to stop call them and not put that set of retainers on if you do that it can cause overcorrecting depending on how far out your next appointment is with your orthodontist second thing they can mess up is your bite again that set for me messed up my bite it literally gave me an overbite like it literally that's what it did i was really frustrated but it gave me an overbite so that's something you want to also look at too. Pay attention to your teeth because what in my head, they're telling me what they see, what they see. I'm telling them what I feel because I feel like this is off. Okay. And even at one point I was talking a little crooked. Okay. <laughs> so when I got that fourth set from the black male doctor, I noticed in that set that the bottom was going to look a, very much so weird. So I went back spoke to the lady doctor and she tells me she could promise me that my teeth are not gonna look like that so in my head I'm saying to myself that is that's not accurate your teeth are going to fit the mold of the aligners so by her telling me that I would not go back to her because she blatantly just lied in my face so I went to him I booked an appointment to go all the way to the other location just to go to that guy he was like, oh my God, I was wondering if you were gonna come here. And I was like, I'm just gonna stick with you and just travel because at this point, I don't trust her from what she said. And the first, the white guy, he he was fine, but it's something that I noticed on all three of them. And I'll pop in a photo too. Each of them, they have different teeth, of course. But when I looked at the website, how she tried to do my teeth, it was kind of like her teeth and how the white guy tried to do my teeth, like shaving them. It's kind of like, hey, like he doesn't have any canine teeth. It's very weird. Um, and then the black male doctor it was more of a natural smile situation. Add one more thing in. It could also cause your teeth to go up if you're not paying attention to it. So I know the tooth next to my front tooth, yeah, I know it started to shift this way and I told them because I can feel it. So now I have to do another set, okay, because they took them completely off. I was like, I, we're not gonna have my bottom teeth looking like the retainer that I'm gonna show you guys. I, I don't want that to happen. My teeth were never like that. I never had an overbite. This is called, this is from these aligners. And, and, and it's not that I don't recommend them, and I'll get into that in a second. It's just that I don't know if they are telling people what to look out for. We don't know what to look out for when we're, when we're going home. We're like, we have these aligners, we're trusting you to do this the proper way and things are being screwed up. So, I don't know. Well, let's get into some of the pros and then I'll get into some of the things to look out. Let's get into some of the pros and then I'm gonna get into things that you should look out for when you are getting your aligners or actively have your aligners. If you stay to this part of the video, make sure you are liking the video below. First pro is it does work. 
<laughs> they work, they work, they work, okay? They move your teeth probably like a quarter of a, it's like such a small amount that it moves so you can't see it with the naked eye. But each week that you are changing your aligners, your teeth are shifting somehow. You may not see it, but trust me, it is moving. Second pro is they are a lot clearer than the Invisalign. And to me, they look a little bit thinner, in my opinion, and lower. So from the photos and the molds that I saw in the orthodontist, the Invisalign seemed a little bit higher and a little bit thicker. These are cool for me. They were lightweight. I didn't have any major issues with it. I can count the times that I had serious pain. So the pain does depend on what they are shifting in your mouth, okay? If they're shifting something that does not need to shift, pay attention to that. So for me, it was this tooth over here. I immediately noticed it because this tooth was not supposed to move. So by me continuing, it shifted them upwards. So now I have to bring them down. This is a lot, <laughs> but it's still a pro though. Third pro is I didn't really have to like shave down the aligners. So they, they basically give you a little file to shave down the aligners if they are a little rough around the edges. And that's just from the manufacturer cutting the aligners and shaping them to your teeth. I think I did it one time. So that was a pro for me. They did a really good job at shaving down the top of those aligners to where I didn't have to actually file them down myself. Next pro is you can change your aligners every week. From my understanding, the Invisalign is not like that. So I do like this feature when it comes to the spark aligners and that is solely because child, cleaning them things is a freaking hassle. And if you have any extra like bumpers inside of it, that's really hard to get in and clean. So changing them weekly to me is much more sanitary and I feel like it's just a better option for those of you who just get tired of having the same exact piece in your mouth for two weeks. So changing them weekly is definitely a pro for me. And as far as the price, I think the price would just vary on your insurance. So it was a pro for me because my insurance covered pretty much half of it, a little bit more than half, and I just put the rest on the back end. So I wanna get into some things that you should look out for. So this is the part where I think you should grab a pen, <laughs> jot it in your phone, and keep track of these things when you are doing your aligners. So the first thing is you wanna look out and make sure that your teeth are tracking properly, all right? And what I mean by tracking, that they're moving the way they should. If you have space between your tooth and your aligner, like an air bubble, you wanna use those chewies. They're over here somewhere. I don't even know where they are. You wanna use your chewies and bite down every single time you put them on. I wasn't utilizing mine because my aligners were snapping on, but when I go back and get the other set, I am gonna utilize them every single time I put my aligners on. Second thing to look out for is if you feel pain in areas that you don't necessarily think should be painful um, because that is a clear indication that your tooth is moving and that's probably not a tooth that you want to move. Again, the tooth next to this one, my big tooth, I knew something was happening, but they act like I was crazy. <laughs> I've been through this so many times that I know that something was shifting that wasn't supposed to shift. So make sure you are looking out for any additional pain, um, something that may be really, really painful. It may be shifting something that's not supposed to be shifted. So during this first set, when you go back after you complete your first set and after you wore those retainers, Look at your teeth, see exactly what you want to change. What else you need to change? Is it one tooth that needs to shift? Is it your bite? Really take your questions and your concerns to your orthodontist. And that way, when they do your refinements, they know exactly what to do when they're doing those refinements. So your second set, which would be your refinement set. When you start to wear these, again, look out for any discomfort in areas where you feel that should not be moving, okay? Because if that is the case, what will happen is things will start shifting and moving up, moving down, that shouldn't shift. Had I known that something was happening to my jaw, I did stop wearing them, but I wish I would have known before I started feeling the pain. Because I think by the time it got to the pain, it was already done like it already shifted down so make sure you're paying attention to that as well the second thing to do in your refinement section is again making sure your things are tracking properly if something seems off i'm gonna keep saying it call them call them call them or stop wearing them and wear the same one that you have on so if it's the last set that didn't cause any issues 
do not move to the next tray, if that makes sense. The third thing is to look out for is in that that refinement set, make sure you are looking out for the OC on your retainer set. So on your pack is going to say retainers or something like that. It says something, but they tell you if it has an OC, question it, please. I do not want anybody to go through what I am going through now. If you guys look back at my old videos, my teeth even look, they look, they were still kind of rounded off, which I liked because that's how my teeth were. But now they're like a lot straighter and like straighter at the bottom because he did some shaving, which I really didn't want him to do. I didn't mind the curviness of my teeth, but that's another thing that you actually need to look out for when you are in your second set. That's the last part of that. Again, if you are, if you have multiple orthodontists at one place, if you can stick to the same person, I would say do that. That is what I'm doing now with the black doctor. I am traveling to him, which is further out, but I don't care because he seems to be the only one that is correcting what they did. And he's very, they, I mean, they're all pleasant. They really are, but he seems to be the one that's fixing it. And the lady, like I said, by her telling me that my teeth are not going to look like a certain thing. It just threw me off because your teeth are going to literally sit in the retain the, <laughs> the aligners. So my final thoughts is, would I recommend this to someone? Drum roll. I would. I still would recommend it, especially if you don't want to get traditional braces. It's not for everyone. I know I can't do it, child. I just know I can't do it. I could see if they told me I can just wear like a line across the front and the bottom. I do that, <laughs> but I don't even think that's possible. But I still would recommend them. But with along with all of these things that I said to look out for, if you can look out for all of these things, you'll be fine. You won't have any issues with your aligners, and I think you'll be extremely happy. I am just a rare case where something was thrown off from something that one of the orthodontists had put in, and I paid attention to it, and here we are today. So I do get a new set of refined. Mm, not even refinements, they called them a mid a mid adjustment or something like that. So they took off all of my attachments. <laughs> I have no attachments on. And I have to start all over, which I'm okay with stopping where I am. And then I'm gonna continue with a fresh new set, fresh new scan, and then we can go from there. So I think this is gonna be my last set, unless my bite is still over, because child, I felt like my teeth was like this. They was not like that before. <laughs> and they're so nice to me that I can't even be like angry in there. Um, but hopefully this guy's gonna fix it. He seems like he knows what he's doing. The white guy was really good as well. It's the lady, but I just wasn't, she just didn't do a good job. <laughs> if you started your aligners and if you don't know if you wanna get them, comment below, I can give you more details. Um, and lastly, go to an orthodontist for your service. It's gonna be cheaper than going to your actual dentist. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I will catch you guys. Oh wait, I'm on TikTok. TikTok, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.